I want to talk about the grace message as in you can continue to sin as long as you believe in God and with this you get to go to heaven afterward even when you die in sin and whenever you read anything from the Bible make sure you place it in context because if you don't place it in the context you are not you can pretty much make the Bible say anything if you don't place it in context does that make any sense you can read anything but if you take it out of context you are going to get the wrong understanding of it and in many cases you have to read more than in one place to understand something because I have read the book of Ephesians I won't say like 100 times or anything like that but I have read this book <laughs> quite a few times so let's go to a popular scripture that these people like to show you or say to you to justify their sin let's go to Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 9 and when you say to these people hey you have to follow God's rules and regulations they give you Ephesians 8 through 9 for by grace are ye saved through faith so if you have your Bibles please go to it please 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 so you will know that I am not making making anything up or trying to deceive you or anything like that so Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 9 to the left is the King James Version to the right is the expanded Bible for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works least any man should boast so they say here hey by grace I am saved and I don't have to follow God's rules and regulations because all I have to do is believe and that's it let's go to Ephesians chapter 4 verses 22 through 32 okay here we go that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust so what is the saying what does it mean to put off the old man usually when the Bible says take off or put off the old man it is saying stop sinning stop sinning and follow God's rules and regulations stop sinning and follow God's rules and regulations that is what you do when you put off the old man so in order to put off the old man what do you have to do you have to change but you are saying in Ephesians 2 8 through 9 that you don't have to change you can continue to sin because of grace because it is not of works okay 23 and be renewed in the spirit of your mind so how can you renew anything the only way that you can renew your mind renew your spirit or should I say in the spirit of your mind 
something have to change. But in Ephesians 2, you are saying that you don't have to change because of grace. All you have to do is believe. Let's continue. 24. And that ye put on the new man. Okay. In verse 22, it was saying to put off the old man. Now, 24 is saying put on the new man. So tell me what it means to put on the new man. Okay, you have to follow God's rules and regulations. So in 22, it is saying to take off the old man, stop sinning. Now in 24, it is saying put on the new man, follow God's rules and regulations. Okay, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. But Kevin, in Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, I don't have to be holy. I don't have to be righteous because of grace, because it is not of works. What does works mean? Works, see works as good deeds. For instance, good deeds as in you are helping the poor. You are buying them clothes, you are buying them food, you are taking care of other people's children, um, you are giving people free things, so on and so on. So that is good deeds. So in verse 9, it is speaking about good deeds. Verse 9 is not speaking about righteousness. It is not speaking about following God's rules and regulations. Because if it was, why in verse or chapter 4, it is saying that you have to follow God's rules and regulations. You have to change. You have to place everything in context. Why would the Apostle Paul say, hey, you can sin... You can do all of those crazy things that you are doing now, and all you have to do is believe in God. Then in chapter 4, he says, well, maybe, let me see. <laughs> no, you have to change. You have to follow God's rules and regulations. Why would Paul contradict himself? Doesn't make any sense. Why would he tell you to do one thing in chapter 2, then tell you to do another thing in chapter 4? It makes no sense. Obviously, you are understanding it in the wrong way. You are placing things out of context. <laughs> well, you know, in chapter 2, hey, <laughs> all you have to do is believe in God and you can still have sex before marriage, you can steal, you can cut yourself, you can get drunk, you can do all of those crazy things, but hey, I changed my mind in chapter 4, hey, <laughs> don't sin anymore. In chapter 2, you are able to sin, but in chapter 4, you can't sin. What? Hey, Paul, what are you saying? <laughs> obviously, obviously, you are understanding it in the wrong way. Let's go back. Woo! Chapter 4. 25, I believe. 25. Wherefore, putting away lying. So this is saying, stop lying. So... In chapter 2, righteousness, following God's rules and regulations, is not the same thing as works. Works is good deeds, not righteousness. Because good deeds does not get you into heaven. Righteousness, holiness, following God's rules and regulations get you into heaven. So you can say that you are a good person, but good 
does not get you into heaven. Because, like I said, some people say that they are good, but they are not following God's rules and regulations. This is why they won't go to heaven, because they are dying in their sin. I do good deeds, but I follow God's rules and regulations. What if I only did good deeds, but I am still watching porn and all of this crazy stuff? If I were to die that way, I would go to hell. Works is good deeds, not righteousness. Because if it was righteousness, <laughs> Chapter 4. <laughs> Place everything in context. Let's continue. Okay. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. So stop lying. Tell the truth. 26 I believe be ye angry and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath so this is saying you can get angry but don't do any sinful act or say anything sinful and don't stay angry for long 27 neither give place to the devil how can you do all of these things unless you change? Unless you follow God's rules and regulations? So this once saved, always saved stuff is wrong. Because you have to change. You can't do these things or you can't sin and die in your sin and believe that you are going to heaven because you are not following these rules. Okay, so neither give place to the devil. How do you give place to the devil? By sinning. You are opening a doorway for demonic activity when you sin. <laughs> 28, let him that stole steal no more. But what about grace, Kevin? You are understanding grace in the wrong way. God have grace on us, but it does not replace. How can I say this? God have grace on us, but we still have to live holy by repenting of our sins, by following God's rules and regulations. Because if we don't do that, how are we different from the sinners who don't believe in God. Think about this. You are saying that you believe in God, but you are sinning as much as a person who says that there is no God. What is the difference between you and that other person? Nothing, because you all are doing the same things. You all are disobeying God. <laughs> Let's continue. Where am I? I keep losing my spot. Okay. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. So stop stealing. Work for what you want and give to others. Don't steal. 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. So what does that mean? Dirty jokes, cursing, just speaking about sex and all of this crazy stuff. You should not do that. But that which is good to the use of edifying, so if you are going to speak to a person, have a nice conversation. 
help people with things that they meet they may need help on that it may minister grace unto unto the hearers so if you are going to speak to someone don't slander others don't speak bad or poorly on other people speak about good things things that is going to help others not bring them down okay so you all really get the point here 30 and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption so this is pretty much saying don't when people sin you are grieving the Holy Spirit so this is saying stop sinning 31 let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice so get rid of bitterness like for instance you are still angry about something that happened back when you was a child or you are like really hating a person because of what they have done to you what is clamor let's look it up clamor is a loud and confused noise especially that of people shouting vehemently so arguments when you are about to get into a fight or something like that stop all of that what else what is malice malice is the intention or desire to do evil ill will so get rid of all of that and you may say hey Kevin okay what now you were saying earlier earlier that in verse 22 you were saying that, no, in verse, let me see, in verse 26, you were saying that, okay, be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sin go down upon your wrath. Now you are saying, in verse 31, it is saying, I have to put away wrath in anger yes now if you read in verse 22 I believe or is it 22 no 26 it is saying let not the Sun go down upon your wrath so this is saying don't stay angry or have wrath for long okay now In 31 it is saying the same thing it says to put it away don't keep it for long so it speaks more about it in 26 then 31 is pretty much saying well places in 31 is saying the same thing in 26 so if you are going to be angry now we know that it is not a bad thing to have wrath or to be angry but you can't have it for long with some people they may be angry or have wrath for a week or two weeks a year or more and that is not right as you see in 26 it is saying that you can only have it for that day so try to get rid of it in that day I know that this may sound much more easy to say than to do but we all have to do it so don't stay angry long let me give you a very good example have you ever met people who always stay angry like <laughs> like you can have a basic or say 
anything to a person and like they have this angry look or like they try to find any fault in your words or they try to fight with you in some type of way like they are always angry you are not supposed to be that way you are not supposed to have wrath for long okay let's go to 32 and be ye kind one to another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as God for Christ's sake have forgiven you so this is saying that you have to forgive so in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 9 you have the wrong idea works is good deeds it is not speaking about righteousness because obviously you have to be righteous unless Paul was drunk and <laughs> <laughs> he was saying that you can sin all you want then he got sober in chapter 4 <laughs> and say hold on <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> you can't sin <laughs> you have to change so since that is not true obviously your understanding of Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 9 is wrong So I pray that this makes sense. So if people say that this once saved, always saved stuff is true, where you can't lose your salvation, that you only have to believe in God to be saved and you can continue to sin, now you know where to go. You can go right to chapter 4 here. Then you can go to Ephesians 5, which... I am not going to go through because I believe this video is long enough <laughs> but it is saying the same things you have to follow God's rules and regulations you have to because if you don't what makes you different from a sinner who refuses to believe in God you are the same way because you are choosing to disobey him because the people who say that there is no God knows that there is a God but they choose to disobey him as you if you choose to disobey him with this grace message God has grace on all of us but grace does not replace righteousness does that make any sense I pray that it does God bless.